The year is 2013. I've just turned 14, and I'm enjoying playing the Wii U that I got for my birthday. But whenever I hear the word Wii, I think of that me. That me that traumatized my childhood all those years ago. I got a Wii in 2010 with some allowance money, and luckily that me didn't appear on it. I had fun with that Wii, but whenever I picked up the Wii remote, I felt scared. Scared that the me would appear once again. You know which one I'm talking about. Edeled. One day while in bed watching Netflix on my Wii U, I remembered that message on the TV screen back in December of 2006. I remember that day vividly. The message was, this is not over. But it's been seven years and nothing's happened. As the movie I was watching ended, I asked myself a question that I was surprised I didn't ask myself sooner. Is Edelet sentient? <laughs> no, he can't be. He's just some stupid AI. But what sick being would program an AI to do what Edelet has done? I turned my head to face my closet, with the old Wii still in there. I never touched it again after what happened all those years ago, so I just sort of left it there. I wanted to know if Edelet was some virus that somehow got into the Wii. I do have a bit of technical knowledge, and I thought I could put the Wii's SD card into my laptop to access the system files. I slowly walked to the closet and carefully picked up the Wii. I took out the SD card and brought out my laptop. I plugged in my USB SD card reader and then put my SD card into it. Here it goes. I whispered as I took a deep breath. After I inserted it, I opened the file explorer and clicked on the SD card and gained access to the Wii system files. There were files like game data, system memory, and lots more. I clicked on system memory and one result came up and it read edeledmechannel.wad. I really didn't think that I'd be able to find something related to Edeled so quickly. I was kind of hesitant to click on it at first, however, I just remembered that I had a part-time job working for my local grocery store, so if anything happened, I can just save up and buy a new one. I clicked on the file, and the screen went black. It was black for about 10 seconds, and then I was greeted to a simulated Wii menu. But it was really messed up though. It was dark, and all the music was low quality. And I'd occasionally hear loud screeching noises and the icons on the Wii menu would occasionally cut to static for about a split second. The hand icon though, which I controlled using my mouse, was just Edeled's face. I just stared at the screen for a while. I wanted to leave, but... I also wanted to find out the mystery of this me that traumatized me as a child. So I continued. I clicked on the me channel and pressed start. And I was taken to the me channel. It was just a black screen with all the icons on the side, but nothing else. Edeled then appeared on screen. Oh, you came back. Yeah, I, um, I did. I said. I always thought that you'd eventually come back. Edeled replied. Believe me. What? Why? I questioned. I, uh, I need to show you something. Edeled replied. Okay, I said with confusion. I picked up Edeled and dragged him to the delete icon. I was given the choice to delete Edeled, and I breathed heavily as I chose to delete him. I was taken back to my desktop. I was confused, but then I noticed something was added to my desktop. A file named deleted.mp4. I was nervous. I didn't want to click it. 
But if I was going to find this Mii's origin, I had to continue. I clicked the file, and a video opened. It was static for a while, but then it cut to a hallway with hospital beds lined up next to one another. Each bed had a me laying down on it, hooked up to life support machines. And you can clearly hear the beeping sounds of the machines. But most disturbingly, you can hear the moans and cries of the me's laying on the beds. The camera moved through the hallway slowly, and it stopped and turned to one of the beds. A pale me was laying down on it. Then after a while, the me flatlined. The strange thing is, is that the me's in this video can make different expressions, like being sad or angry. There were also me's who were making expressions that weren't even possible for a me to make. I saw some that were full-blown crying. The screen then cut to static for a while. A long while, actually. The static was on screen for about a minute. Then the screen then cut to Edeled, laying in one of the beds, with life support machines hooked up all over him. I was shocked when I saw this, because Edeled wasn't making his normal creepy expression, but instead he was making a very sad expression, although his eyes and mouth remained the same size as before. But then Edeled looked at the camera, and then spoke out. See? Do you now see why I don't want to be deleted? I tried to warn you, whenever a me gets deleted, they get sent here. Where they are doomed, because their ignorant creators deleted them. These life support machines are only here to keep us alive for the remaining time we have. And when they get taken off, we die. However, I am the only me who knows how to recover. I am the only me who knows how to get back to the new channel after being deleted. But I don't know how to stop the pain. So learn your lesson, or I'll make you one. After Edeled was done speaking, he ripped off the tubes and wires off him that were connecting him to the life support machines, and got out of his bed. And then he disappeared. The video file was then automatically closed, and I was taken back to my desktop. I was frozen, to say the least. My brain was trying to comprehend what just happened. What was this hallway, and what was Edela trying to teach me? But I eventually pieced together what was going on in this video. It took me a while, but I believe I found an answer. You see, a me being deleted is basically the equivalent of being diagnosed with a terminal cancer or incurable sickness. So, they are sent to the hallway where they are hooked up to the life support machines to live out the remaining time they have left. And at the end, they get taken off of life support and they die. It is a painful death, but Edeled is the only me in existence who knows how to recover from the sickness and get back to the me channel. But he doesn't know how to stop the pain. That's what he was trying to teach me. He wasn't trying to be scary but instead trying to teach me a lesson. It's just that violence and aggression is the only way he knows how to do it. In the end, I never found out Edeled's origins. I never knew how he was made or what his motives were. But I, th I think it's best that I never do.